Well, nobody's YouTube channel is complete without their own bandsaw setup video. So I'll give you my process and procedure to getting damn near perfect cuts all the time. So I'm not challenging anybody's methods or expertise or mastery. This is just simply how I do it. So I got our Rikon uh, 10326. It's a 14 inch bandsaw. It's not a run of the mill by any means, but it's not a break the bank type of bandsaw. And uh, it works uh, really, really well. It's a fantastic machine. It's got one and three quarter horsepower. And it seems to do the job just fine for whatever I'm working on here. All right, so let's just pretend you're changing out your blade, you're starting from scratch. And, uh, you know, I'm not gonna ignore the lower blade, the lower section, but there's really not much you need to do down here other than set up the guides once you've got the blade tensioned up and, and whatnot. So right now, we're completely loose. We just fit brand new blade on there. So this blade isn't brand new, I've done set up on this blade a few times but let's just pretend so we'll add the tension to the blade and you know this isn't going to be our our final tension but it's going to be pretty close and like most people say these are useless don't go by this i'll show you a different way to figure out what the perfect tension is for your blade so all bandsaws are going to have some kind of a wheel adjustment like that and that will adjust your 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 wheel this way or this way which in turn moves the blade and helps position it where you choose on the wheel. So in my case I don't go by the gullet in the center of the wheel thing. I have a different method that works way better. However, it does take longer to set up. But once it's set up, it's really good. So I use a dial indicator. And I'll get this uh, on here and I'll try and show you exactly what I'm doing. All right, so the first thing you can then wanna do is you wanna get the tension dialed in. This is something that importance hasn't really been put on and there's no real great way to decide when you have enough tension. It's just kind of a feel thing, but I think I've figured out how to decide when you have the right tension. So I'm gonna hold this right here and I'm gonna show you. So right now we're way too loose. We don't have the proper tension on there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start spinning this and I'm gonna just move this in just until we hear it hit. Okay, it's hitting right now. Maybe a, a tenth, it's like barely even touching it. So I'm gonna zero out right here. And now I'm gonna Swing it in this way, a thou or two thou. And that's, yeah, maybe about a thou. So now it's actually touching and you can see it's sort of moving around in there. Okay, so now at this point, this is when you start adding tension. And you'll watch the change is being made there. Yeah, I gotta preload this again. There's about two thou. And I'm gonna start adding tension. You can see it's coming back to our zero mark. Oh, look, look at that, right there. See a little bit more. All right. Can you guys see that it's hardly even moving? And this is the right tension. Mm. 
And that's its happy place. So it's not it's not incredibly tight at all. But I'm telling you, this is its happy place. It's not even moving a thousandth of an inch. All right, so that's the first thing. Now, if we look at where the blade is, it's in a very, very wrong spot. We don't want it on the wheel right there. So we want to back it up a little bit. So again, I'm not even going to look here now. All I'm, all I'm going to know is that I'm backing it up. I'm actually just going to watch this guy as I move it. So I'm going to put this down again. Get you focused in there. All right, here we go. So, starting to back up. Okay, so I'm not, I'm definitely touching, but I'm getting almost no, just a little bit right back there. I think it was right on the weld is where I get it. I'll just preload this a little more just to make sure it's actually there that's better so it's moving about half a thou it's ridiculous for a bandsaw and then I just look and see where everything is. And this is nowhere near center. This is way forward. So I can take this out of here. And now I can do my guide setup. Well, I'm gonna close the doors up and run it. I'm gonna turn it on here. My power switch. And you just look for any vibration. I mean, that is running extremely smooth right now. All right, I'll do a quick setup on the guides. Don't, I don't do anything fancy there. I just push them in until they're almost touching. Um, as I, I don't know, guides are really as important as they're made out to be. I think when your blade is running true and there's no deviation this way or this way and it's sitting in its comfortable, like natural position on the, on the wheel, I think this, the saw is just cut beautifully. So I'll get this all set up and then we'll do a cut. Okay, the guides are all set up. I've got the piece of uh, walnut here. It's uh, square on three sides, this side, this side, this side. I'm gonna resaw it. It's uh, I think roughly down the middle. I haven't done that accurate of a measurement, but I'll set the camera up on that side. You can watch from over there. All right, turn the air on. 
There we go. For a bandsaw, that is superb. I wasn't quite in the center, but we can see how we did for uh, keeping straight I'll get some calipers here all right so this was the piece this was the piece that was between the fence and the blade and this was the off cut so we'll take a, a reading on the off cut first and it was in there like that On. So on this end, we are 45 60 fourths, and down here, we are 47 60 fourths, and well, we're 47 60 fourths here. Check this side. 45 60 fourths and down here 93 128 so I don't know what is that all right on this side between the fence we are 27 30 seconds there and 13 16 down there 27 30 seconds 27, whatever that is. And on this side, 27, 30 seconds. 27, 30 seconds. So, I mean, we're, we're talking 30 seconds of an inch, 64ths of an inch, 128ths of an inch, like, these are not your typical woodworking fractions, but I look at the finish, how much work it is after the fact, and to me, that's fantastic. It cuts super straight with just uh, for just a little extra, a little extra setup time. I hope this helps.